Hello, hello, hello. Time for another video. Time for a little more progress. This time it's going to be uh, moving forward with the laser project a little bit. As you can see in the little camera there, I've got some brackets made up. And we're going to put those together and uh, we're going to put those together and then put the main rail in them and see if we can get it to glide down the frame smoothly. So let's get started. Let me get it and bring it over here. Okay, so, uh, let me see, let me start, uh, Lazy Pups, yep, they're lazy, alright, the big one's been dead all morning, she hasn't moved, let me switch over to my desktop camera, bring that up to... This one, this is a little different than I normally have it. I'm trying it out with the one of the cameras on a tripod. That way I can use it better um, for my wife's channel because she needs more room and bigger, bigger table space and everything. And then I want to see how that's going to work out. I don't know. It's a little different than I normally have, and I know you got to look at my big old bald spot and everything, but. Um, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it works out on the tripod. If I don't trip over it and fall, which I'm prone to do. And there's D. All right. So I uh, I looked at some of the STL files that were out there. Um, they just wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So I designed my own, and I kind of copied the bed similar to the bed um, rails that I made for the big printer and it's it's just very simple it'll have a roller here and here the extrusion for the x-axis will go across it from here and my motors will mount here and there's I sunk this strip right here that's going to ride right alongside uh, the 2020 extrusion I sunk that down one millimeter I'm putting the nasty side in towards it this is where the support material was so I think we're gonna be okay if if it does act like it's gonna rub I can give that a little bit of sanding and it'll be okay but I think we're good um, if you remember when I did it on the bed we put duct tape down on this piece up here to offset it so that it didn't rub the rail give me just a little bit of thickness this time I was smart enough to uh, design it with a millimeter thinner so we're going we're going to see how that works out I've already got one roller on here I've tested my uh, spacers looks like they're going to work out okay I thought I was leaving enough clearance um, for the screws just to drop in there. I added a, a half a millimeter, I think it was, and it's still, I got to thread them in, so that'll take me just a minute. It's nice that it they stay in place, but it's a pain in the butt to put them in the first time. Once I've, once I've put them in once or twice, it cuts threads into it, and then they're easy. I can put them on with my hands, but that first time of cutting threads in the plastic is a little pain. So, 
We're going to see how that works out. I've also changed the background music. I went to YouTube to their music library and picked a whole new set. I was getting bored with the background music. It's not like it's real music. It's just noise, but when I'm not talking, it keeps prevents dead airspace. And there's my first drop. Let's Let's do this. Let's count how many times I drop the Allen wrench, or or we can count how many times I drop anything. Either way, that's one. Fingers are not working very well today. The arthritis is acting up, and over the last couple days, I've been working so hard out, out there to see there's two. Boy, we're gonna we're gonna get a big number. Um, I did find that when I put those spacers on before, if I get them too tight, they rub the roller. There we go. That looks pretty good. No wobble, but it still spins freely. I guess I, I'll try next time I make spacers like that. I'll just make them a full millimeter larger in diameter, and then I know the screw surely will fit through there. Make sure I got this on the right side because I put it on the wrong side twice already. And then I left it, let it come through enough to where I can put a nut on there, maybe. If not, I can go five millimeter longer screws and then put a nut on there. If I have to, I, really, I might not have to. There's no contact. I like that, that's smooth. It is rubbing slightly, so I will polish that up with something. Maybe I'll take the sander on the Dremel tool or something. I used Path IO when I created this and I like it. It prints good. I've got no problems with the print whatsoever, but I have not got the support material dialed in. It leaves a pretty rough edge. I have a hard time getting some of that off. But it needs a good sanding. Once I get that sanded nice and slick, it won't touch at all. So I think we're going to be good to go there. There's one of them. Ten times acetone. Will acetone rub that, smooth that down? I thought somebody told me acetone doesn't do nothing to PLA. No. I thought it would, but somebody told me it didn't touch it. Straight acetone. Don't use acetone. Well, you just told me to use acetone. You're an acetone, Ryan. What are you trying to do? Get me in trouble? Get all the way down the road and then have me booger it up? It softens it. It doesn't smooth it. Okay. Well, I'll go back to my sandpaper plan then. Unless you got some other real nice way to get rid of it. I hate it. I just, I'm sure I've got to change a couple settings in my, uh, in my uh, support material section on Path IO, but the print turns out good. You know that's nice. That's glassy because it's on glass. But even the side that's not on glass, I think it turned out beautiful. I love it. I could be lazy and turn it the other direction because it doesn't really matter which side I put the wheels on. But then I would have the ugly side out. So I was trying to hide it. All right, let's get this other bracket put together. We'll move on. Okay, set that out of the way. And we're up to, what are we at? Two or three for the drops? I think two. Let's start a new one. Bolt on wheel. One bushing. I think there's a song that goes something like that in there. 
bourbon, one beer. One shot, one bourbon, one beer, something like that. So. When I'm usually over there at the big printer standing, more pain, more of a pain in the butt because when I drop the Allen wrench, it bounces under the cart, and I got to get on my hands and knees and crawl under there and dig it out. Oh, save that one. <laughs> There's a teaser for you. You're full of bad ideas. You're full of bad ideas every day, Ryan. What? You want me to turn the camera? Huh? I don't want in it. Well. Dogs. No. She's asleep. I'll try and try and do this. Maybe I can just That ain't gonna work. Oh, the white one woke up. Black one is dead to the world. That's what a dead Dixie looks like. He don't care. Oh, I see my nightbot works. Did you know? Okay, good. I gotta kind of keep track with it. With huh? Oh, I gotta keep track and make sure I've got all the bugs worked out of that night bot. Think I've got them all worked out. I want to make sure I got all the bugs worked out before I copy them over to her channel. I'm still working on her channel. I've got most of it set up. Yeah, I, I already told them. I forgot to hit the save video button. But she got some practice. She did an hour video and then she did a good job. She did way better than I did. My first video was so full of ums and ahs and just looked ridiculous. She did good. Am I putting it on the right side? Yep. Okay. All right. Ooh, <laughs> I saved it. It don't count. It don't count until it hits the table or the floor. I'm going to say we're at two because I don't remember. I think we're at two. All right, that's three wheels. One more. One more. Oh, what's that? Uh-oh, got a problem. Got the wrong size bolt. That was a six millimeter. I didn't need didn't need that one. There we go. Let me try that. Alright, let's go for this last one. I want to see the video of the bit fight between Mamma and Papa. Oh. Bit fight? Yeah. What's that? Huh? What's that? Um, probably see who gets more bits, you or me. First. Yeah, she's got to get 50 followers first before she's even eligible, so. I don't know, you were 27 last time I looked, but maybe 29. Maybe 27. Oh, you probably do have 29, because if Angel and... No, she hasn't done it yet. Yeah, oh, she hasn't? Okay, well, we'll get you there. Then we'll, have then we'll have a bit fight. Bit Wars. Bit Wars 2019. Uh, no, I do not. Feel free to log in and watch my video. You might like it.
how many followers you have it does somewhere it's harder to tell on the phone than it is on the computer but I have 29 followers I've got 80 views 80 views? Mm-hmm. How'd you get 80 views? Because well, I'm here, I guess. Boy, you didn't see that, did you? It didn't hit the floor. It don't count. About got away from me, though. All right, so there's the other side. Let's see how that works. Nice, nice, nice. I love these rollers. Okay, so. Now, let's see, we've designed it to go this way. <clears throat> I hope I did not shoot myself in the foot when I designed that bracket because I left I left the frame the full meter long. So it's a one meter by one meter square. So I may have an issue. May have an issue because of this block I had to build on there so I'd have a place to put my T nuts and things, but we'll try it. We'll see where it ends up. It's all fixable. What's with the commercial? I'm watching your stream. Yeah, you got, unless you're a subscriber, you hit, sometimes they put a commercial. I'm not a subscriber. Okay. Yeah, you either have to pay or you gotta have okay. Twitch Prime. I'm paying you to watch you. If you're a subscriber, you don't have to watch the commercials. Mm. But if you watch the commercial, they give me a few cents. That's where the odd numbers come in. Because I always, like, I've got, I don't know, $10 and 49 cents or something like that in bits sitting there waiting that I'm going to give you whenever you get online full, uh, full bore. But it's like, how in the hell do you get 9? How do I get 49 when... The lowest denomination is a nickel. Well, I finally figured it out. It's the few pennies I get from those commercials that people watch if they don't subscribe. Which Ryan and Dee have re-upped. Oh, nice that reminds me. Hold on. Yeah. Before I forget. Huh? Yep. Yeah, I don't know. your desk, man. I just did. Didn't you see me? Yeah, huh? I cleaned it. Down the furnace bed. Okay, let's see. I want... Mr... But ram <coughs> done here. All right. So I didn't forget. I had I forgot somebody last month, and I had to go back through and review the list to catch them up um instead of sending you a picture i can still send you a picture on discord i guess <coughs> i'll send you a picture on discord so i won't drop them in the basket yet but mr buttram that's your number if you saw it and d that's your number if you saw it if not I will send it to you in discord and thank you very much both of you 
All right, so now let's see. Now we gotta put peanuts in this thing. Fill it too. The big dog snoring. I don't, you probably can't hear her, but she's snoring. My microphone is on, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else I got. Make sure I ain't got other junk running in the background here that I don't need. Like, I don't need the timer no more. I can close that. Nope. Everything else is good. All right. Oh man, these stupid little tea nuts are hard to hold on to. Bat fingers. I'm gonna. No, the glazing points are still there. Okay. They survived. I don't know what was under there. I'll clean it up later. Okay, let's try this with some tweezers. Hush, I'm, I'm, I'm making a movie here. Yep. My 15 minutes of fame. That's two thus far, okay. Tea tons or tea nuts? If I put the nut in there before I get all the way through the plastic. I really don't want to drop these tea nuts. They're hard to find. When I drop them. Now, we're just going to have to do it the hard way. Oh, I did that wrong. There's no way I can turn that Allen wrench with my left hand. I need to hold the T-nut with my left hand and I got my right finger on it. Okay, we got her. We got her. Okay. That worked. Almost worked. There we go. All right, so and I'll bet I'm going to have to move that out. We'll try it wide and then we'll see how. How it works. Oh, 
shoot. There's three. I have got to buy me a set of Allen wrenches that have screwdriver handles on them. Won't stop me from dropping them, but it'll slow it up, I think. We'll try it wide and then hopefully it'll go wide enough. Alright, there's that end. Two more. One, two, and I can put away these spare bushings. I did not need them, which is a surprise. Okay. that in there okay now can I get this T nut on there Yeah, I got it. Without the tweezers. I'm going to be excited to get this laser up and running. Got so many projects I want to do with it. I want to get the printer going too, but it's a little more complicated and a little bigger project than this laser is going to be. I'm not putting any wheels on the bottom, I'm just going to let gravity and the weight of the motors hold it in the track because there is no actual contact it's not like a wood engraver or a CNC mill or anything like that there's not going to be any resistance it's going to be floating pretty pretty lightly on the rails so I don't think I need a roller to hold it down I may not even put one on the 3d printer on the big printer a table and all of that stuff is so heavy that I'm not sure I need to put them in. I got, I made the brackets for wheels on the bottom. I guess that counts as four. It hit the table. But I may not put the wheels in. Come on. Ugh. No. There's five. Yeah, I'm starting to get aggravated. Let's try it again this way. Things are hard to hold in that little area. I got an idea. Let's try this. My favorite pair of needle nose pliers. If 
you can see them they're bent 90 degrees they're made for snap rings specifically for transmission automatic transmissions That's why I bought them Well, that don't work. <clears throat> that don't work. Okay. I'll get it. Well, I guess I could put the tea nut in the slot. That way. that sucker Go back to the tweezers well, I got fancy music now back to the YouTube library and picked happy beachy music so we're at the beach and you just picture it right now oh I think I got it I got it whoo So now let's make sure these are turned the right way. And put on so the wheels match. Okay. about ready for the big reveal either I come out good and maybe just need a little adjustment or I totally blew it gotta find a solution okay where are we at six on the drops did I get it right? Yep, there we go. There's my X carriage. Okay, let me uh, set the frame out here and see if I can get the camera on it. So there's the frame, one meter by one meter. There's the first side. Oh boy. Yep. So it's planned. We can fix it. We can fix it. 
Um, we'll just turn the trolleys around and go from the inside out. Six and counting. I'm glad you're there for me, buddy. I need... I can't remember. I'm sure you're keeping track. Okay. So, new plan. We can fix this. We can fix this. I didn't figure it'd be too far out of line. But since I didn't cut anything off of the meter sticks that I made the frame out of, I was afraid having to put these peanuts and build this block that was going to cause an offset it was going to cause me a problem but we'll just put them on backwards that let's see so I should if I do it this way should be able to get pretty darn close by setting that at 10 millimeters. Yeah, it moved on me. I know what I forgot to do. Almost. But I caught it. It don't count. I forgot to take my pliers and just kind of smush the end of the screw. Booger up the threads a little bit. That way it helps ensure that the T-nut turns. So, I'm going to have to fight it. So I might be able to stick something down in it. I'm not real far down the track. Okay. There, that one turned. Now how close to 10 are we? Six. Nine. 
Alright. Eight. That's about nine and three quarters. Close enough to give it a trial run. Now if we get lucky and this T-nut turns like it's supposed to, we'll be alright. Oh, I caught it. I about lost that one. Yep, that one turned. Okay, we're good. Alright. Get that thing out of my face. Alright, so we're going to go that way. Let's turn this other one around. I gotta break the habit of over tightening this stuff. I, I tighten it way too tight for the plastic. Okay. So, there. Let's give this a little more slack. One. one and a half rotations. The wheels now go out. And down. Apparently three was too much, so And we will again try to set this at 10. And hopefully these nuts will turn. Come on. Yep. Oh, good. Boy. I may need to go buy a lottery ticket. This is my lucky day. On Some of those T-nuts I put on that thing, I had a hell of a time until I figured out Squishing the threads. Guaranteed that it turned. All right. So we adapted. Let's see what it does now. Huh. I should have brought it out 20 instead of 10. Which makes sense. Actually, I need to bring more than 20, don't I? No, maybe not. Maybe 20. We're getting closer. It's going to work. I just got to put some fine tuning on it. That's a little more than 20, but... Ugh. Okay, let's try it again.
Okay, there's 20 on that side. There's 20 on that side. Closer. Want to sneak up on it. Got it. Have the racking. I get the motors and the belts on. No, nope, it needs to come out just a little bit. Everything's got good clearance, so I need to come out probably a millimeter on each side, and that'll help it with the alignment. That's going to be touchy. I'll have to figure out exactly where it needs to be and write it down somewhere. Although it should never move, I guess. Let's try nine. It's just not quite sitting down in the groove the way it ought to. Riding a little high on the out, outside. Inside, riding, riding high on the inside. I know I didn't tighten that that tight. Okay. Let's try nine. I think that one moved. Oh, that's good. Okay, so 19 millimeters. Okay, 
see how that works. I don't think it's going to get any better now. Look at that support material rubbing though. Definitely going to have to sand that off. All right. Good, that's going to be a big cutter. That's going to be a big one. Alright. Let's see, do I have any other parts that I can put on that thing? to design mounts for the uh, belt I'm not going to do this the same as the, the way I did the big printer let me switch cameras here I think I'm going to do this um, instead of making a loop and tying it to the carriage, I'm going to just take the belt and I'm going to tie the belt at each end and I'm going to run it. Oh, I didn't show you that. Hang on. Let me switch back to that other camera. Okay. We got the width, 19 millimeters. We got that worked out. Um, motor, we'll set here. And I'm going to put an idler pulley right here. Actually, no. If I had to turn those around, I got to do that different. Still the same location. Motor will be here, setting outside. Because I don't want it to get in the way of my carriage. I don't want to lose any more capacity than I already have. So the motor will come in from this side with a tooth pulley on it. And then, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see if you can see that. Alright, so I'll have the motor coming up here, and then I'll have an idler pulley here and here, Then I'll tie the belt. I'm going to make a fastener at each end of the rail, so I can, instead of making an entire loop like the printer has, I can use half the belt material if I just tie it to each end of the frame and then run it through the idler over the motor and back under the other idler so that's my plan for that um, I've got the belt that's no big deal I just gotta make the brackets to attach it to the frame got the motors for this that are left over from where I changed motors on my ender And I have, I believe I have the idler pulleys. Let me see. I know I got two of them. Now I have the two pulleys.
So I'm gonna have to pick up four of those little smooth because it'll be on the back side of the belt. I'll need the smooth pulleys like I put like I put on the big printer. So and that's I think I can get a 10 pack for like two bucks or something. I don't know. I'm sure they're next to nothing on Amazon. Um, but that'll get the carriage running. And here's the board, control board. This is an Arduino Nano and a Gerbil board, GRBL board. CNC's and lasers that uh, D Dininger 3D PSC graciously donated. Thank you very much, D. I certainly appreciate it. I cannot wait to get it going. So I've been checking that out today and trying to get something worked up so I can get a case on it and get it mounted. I'm going to do a little more research, but this should be ready to go and I believe he told me that this has already got the firmware on it he already had that taken care of for me so we're a step ahead there I appreciate that and you can see here since you're looking at my desk oh, seven Two of my prized possessions from Murph. Right there. My Hoosier Club pin. And my one of ten Chris's basement maker coin. They stay right here. Along with my sticker. Which I'm thinking about putting the Hoosier Club sticker on my monitor right there. I don't know yet. Yep, I keep those right there. So, we're good with that. The board, make the case, get the idler pulleys, make the mounting brackets to secure the belt at each end. And then, the laser is going to be coming from China. I've been talking to Dee about that, and we've looked at a couple. And, uh, If everything works out, I'm going to get the 10 watt, and it'll take, it may take a month for it to get here, so that'll give me plenty of time to make my little brackets, and then that'll go on the back burner. Um, you did not. You got a shirt, didn't you? You did not get one of those. Oh, you got the one color. I'm sorry. My glasses. See, I can't see. Okay, you got the one color. Because he assured me I caught him as he was walking in from the parking lot. He And he gave that to me and assured me that it is 1 in 10. And it's a very special coin. So I treasure it. But you got the shirt. I didn't get a shirt. Miss several people at Murph. He was in the second building. You got a table in the second building? I went through the second building twice. Yeah, I know. You weaseled your way out of that shirt. Just because I was too nice and didn't want to be greedy and ask for it. I didn't ask him for this. All I asked him for was, could I have a sticker that was laying on his table? And he went back and got me a whole pile of swag. But not a shirt. I didn't get a shirt.
That's okay. Prusa with the lithophane boxes. I saw those. I did not know that was you. I did see the lithophane boxes. I remember. Um, if I remember correctly, you were right there somewhere close to that plotter that was drawn R2-D2 then. Am I thinking right? No, I may be I may be confused. I don't know. I was thinking it was in that second building. Mary? Neary? <laughs> okay. I know where he was. He was behind you. Okay, so you were on the other side. Alright. Yep, I didn't I didn't catch it was you. I didn't or I would have stopped in and said hi. I would have definitely got your attention. I didn't get a table or anything. I didn't I didn't want to mess with that. I just wanted to we took it easy. We was only up there one day. We left at like three or four in the morning and it was like a three hour drive, three and a half. Had breakfast, went to the show, and then we left early. We probably left it six five or six good deal thank you for following Vince I appreciate it yeah we left it actually we left I think we left about 430 because we went to Ponderosa and we had dinner and turned out we were sitting right next to Red Light and David Olson so we had a good talk with them and we went back to the hotel and had the hot tub and the pool to ourselves the rest of the evening. So, no stress, no hassles, nice relaxing. Worked out well. It was a good time. Me and my son got to hang out together. See a lot of neat stuff. I still got a whole bag full of samples that I need to play with. Just haven't got that far along. The weather's been nice the last few days, so I've been trying to do stuff outside. Probably won't get a whole lot done through the summer. I, I got a lot of outside work to do, but I hit it here and there as the weather turns bad or where I can. And next winter, we will hit it hard. Oh, okay. I was thinking you, you were already following me, but you were following me on your personal account. Is that right? Thank you. I appreciate it. So anyway, I guess that's all the stuff that I've got parts ready to go. I'm not set up to mount the motors yet. I got to get those pulleys, get the case made for the board. I don't think it'll be too long before it's all motivating. I think it'll be it'll be ready by the time the laser gets here. I hope. I can't order the laser till after the fifteenth of May, so and then it'll be three or four weeks after that. Did you get a K40? I got a place to put it. I'll even come over and get it. You can keep it at my house. That work for you? No, no, D. I spoke up first. Besides, I offered to come get it. 
He's only a couple hours away from me. All right, Mr. Butcher. I get you there. Yep. <laughs> That's hitting below the belt. Me too. I will have once we get the other house up and running. I'll have a full basement with all kinds of room. Let's see. I think I covered in the last video I was pulling the wires. I have a lot of that to do. You can see. Oh, don't look at those red things on the table. Let me get those out of the way. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. These are not brain fart designs. I don't know what I was thinking. see it yeah I designed these and this is where I was going same kind of thing and I printed them not only did I print one but I printed two before I realized that the motor mount holes on a NEMA 17 are 31 millimeters apart and I made them 31 millimeters off center so it's actually four times the size. Put four NEMA 17s in that. Seriously, dog. Well, that was a total brain fart. Second batch turned out okay. Let's see. I did find my soldering iron, so now I can continue on this. A lot of soldering to do, a lot of wires to extend. Problems. Something making a print. I'm going to make some double hole straps that'll go just a loop right here that I can put some screws in. Side of these rails is the only place that won't get hit by anything. The outside, the carriage runs outside, and the wheels run on these sides. So I need to bring the wires around and into some kind of wire strap and run them down the inside of this pole and out to the box. So got some little brackets to make for that and I need to start putting my set screws and lock it all together. You know, it looks rickety right now but that's because there's not a screw in it. I got screws to go here and here and all my gussets. Once I get all those screws in there it should be solid as a rock. So it's getting closer and I got a make a box extension for the power supply um, I'm gonna take the SSR and bolt it straight to the the power supply and then build a box to go around it to mount the power switch in and that way I don't know that the SSR really needs cooling but it'll have cooling because I'm using a PC power supply that's got a built-in fan so should come together pretty well.
So much to do. I got about four weeks till the 40 sale. The uh, National Road Yard Sale. And we hit that every year. We set up for it, so let vendors set up in our yard. Well, I will have, I don't know, 17, I don't remember what it was, 17 or 19 spaces over in the other yard that we let people set up at, at and we're going to have uh, Bib, Big Papa's Pork Pit food truck will be here. So it'll be a hopping week out here. I, I got four weeks to get everything cleaned up and ready. So I won't be on here a lot, but I'll try to check in when I can. I try keeping an eye on things when I'm out doing stuff with my phone. I was telling Dee this morning, I had my phone in my pocket when I was out burning brush and cutting wood and I had some tools in my pocket and somehow just the right combination of buttons got pushed and my phone did a total hard reset so I lost everything I had. I had to start from scratch. Lost all my pictures, my videos, the contact list and all that's backed up by Google so synchronized with that so I didn't lose phone numbers anyway. So I'm trying to get all my apps like Discord and things like that I could keep track because it would let me know when somebody posted something or so if you try to get in touch with me through discord or anything and I don't answer that's why because I'm away from the computer and I don't have it set back up on my phone yet maybe I'll get that done later tonight so anyway I think that's about all I've got for today just wanted to give you a little update and Check out my progress on the laser. It is moving forward slowly. And it'll all get there. As long as I'm going forward, not backwards, it's it's a good thing. So I think uh, I will thank you guys all for coming and joining me and hanging out and spending your time with me. And I will... Uh, in this video with go out and have fun have a wonderful day hopefully the weather's nice where everybody's at and uh, have fun and be safe and I'll catch you in the next video thanks for stopping by and thanks for the subs and the follows and the bits everybody thank you have a good one